In this video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials, we're going to talk about how to run a R script using command line. So there is a R script.exe file in your R install location under the bin folder. For my install, it's going to be C program files R R325 bin. Then to run a simple R script, this is the command rscript.exe file location of the R file and the file name. So file location slash file name dot R. How to pass an arg argument to R script? You have to add this line in the R script, this R script. I'm going to show you all in practical, but just showing you at a very high level. And then you have to run rscript.exe file location slash file name dot r argument one argument you can pass multiple arguments. This is how you would run rscript.exe bdcs.r. This is my r file. This is my argument one, argument two. And how to access these arguments inside the file? Argument r square bracket one it would be like an array and this would be two which is pass argument two so let's do that let's do an hands-on on this whole thing and let's do and see how you can save a file and output file onto a disk as well so I'm gonna use a library ggplot2 we have done that earlier and you have argument read.csv I'm reading this file day.csv header true strings false we have we have done that in the previous videos so you do a file png so I'm gonna declare a file name which is saved file.png you can have any name on the png document and it's gonna save the png file output file into this location with this file name now this is the data which I have read from here. I'm going to convert that date. And this is the same file we used in the previous Arima videos. So if you want to know about this file, you can check the previous video Arima. And then I'm gonna do a ggplot on this data. That means it's gonna plot the data. And you have x date, y count, and it's gonna plot the x axis for date, y axis for count and it's going to be month and my graph and dev off so this is important because this is the png command it's going to open a line a, a an instance wherein it's going to write and this is dev off means it's going to off this so this is very simple it's going to read a file save the file as png which is a plot of ggplot with this data save the file Make sure you're able to run this file from the R Studio, and uh, let's move on and see how to do the command line. So open a command line window and make sure you are in the place where your R Studio, sorry, R is installed. So rscript.exe and the file name you can have a single slash as well as double slash it doesn't matter or a double slash does not matter so you can have single slash or a double slash does not matter here so I'm gonna run our script.exe and I'm gonna pass this file so this is done and you can see that a file named saved file is available here see the permissions here so open the file after a few minutes few seconds and it's it's opened and you can see that you have 2011 this is the date and the plot now let's pass some arguments instead of hard coding the value here so I don't want to hard code the value of this I'm gonna make it more dynamic 
and I'm not going to hard code the value of this. So here I would need two arguments. The first argument would be to, to find the file name and the second argument would be what file you want to save as. So let's see how to do that. Recall that you have to add this line args equal to command args trailing true equal trailing only equals to true line in your R script. So let's do that and we will make some modifications to the R file also. So I have added args command args training tra trailing only equal to true. This is the line and I'm gonna copy this whole line and instead of doing this I'm gonna say args one. So the first argument for me which I'll be passing when I will run the script from the command line would be the name of the file, name of the data file. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this. So the second argument which I'm gonna pass is gonna be the name of the file which I'll be using to save the file. So save it and let's pass some arguments and make sure it's running. Okay. So I'm start I'm gonna start with the same which I have done earlier. This is the argument crday.csv is gonna be the data file which is gonna be used in this argument one. The second argument I'm going to pass is the name of the PNG file which I'm going to save here. So this is the name of the PNG file here. Now before I run I'm going to show you here that there is no file like save file, script file. So let's run this. And you can see that script output.png file has come. And you open this, it's gonna be the output. So you saw how easy it is going to is going to be when you want to run a command line R script and pass arguments to it. I'm gonna save this file in the Google Drive link mentioned in the description section of the video below. Thank you for watching.